Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiana Cherise and today I have a Giddy try on haul. I have not yet located my tripod so I hope this will do but Yiddy is Lizzo's new shapewear line and I wanted to you know get a few things try it out so I want to talk about the brand a little bit but if you want to skip ahead to the try on I will have timestamps. so Yiddy is Lizzo's shapewear line if you don't know Lizzo I don't know why you wouldn't know Lizzo, but she is a pop artist, a black woman. She's been a lot of representation for plus size women in the pop industry. And she's come up with this shapewear line because she was saying she had like this bad relationship with shapewear for a while. And she wanted to create something that you feel good and you feel beautiful in. You don't feel restricted in, but something that you want to wear and that's where she came up with Yiddy. The sizes go from 6X to extra small. Yes, she did that on purpose. And they actually have a 6X model who is beautiful. So that's cool. The line is in, I don't know if it's in partnership with Fabletics or like what the right term is, but it's hosted on Fabletics website. And Fabletics has a membership plan if you're not familiar with them. So if you already have that, that does apply to Yiddy as well. Or you can just buy them regular like you can with Fabletics. I was already a Fabletics member, so I got the Fabletics prices on it. Um, but if you're like, if you sign up brand new right now, there's a deal going on. But like I said, you don't have to have a membership to buy. And I'll quickly tell you about the membership, like the quick version. Basically, it's around 50 ish dollars a month and you get a member credit. Now you can skip this every month. You never have to pay it. But if you do pay it, you get that credit. And that credit can be applied to outfits. And it's most advantageous, like like I said, it's about $50, but maybe there's an outfit that's $80. You can use that credit on that outfit. And full price, that outfit was probably $120. So that's where it becomes advantageous. But like I said, you can skip it every month. I usually do. Like, I don't pay for it every month, but if I'm just feeling frisky, I'll let myself get a credit and then I can use that credit on other things. So Yiddy has three lines. There's Mesh Me. The pieces have light compression and they have a lot of mesh elements. This one was the most, I don't know exactly what to do with this. Maybe I'm not enough of a hot girl, but it has um, it has the lining. So you don't have to wear underwear with these. So it's like they're underwear, but they're also pieces to wear out. And I was like, okay, where are we wearing this? Because am I going to wear a full mesh outfit to Starbucks? I'm not. But someone else might. I don't know. So I'm seeing it as party clothes or, you know, of course, being comfortable at home. But I'll have to actually try it on to see, you know, what I'm thinking, because I don't I, I, I don't know. And we have the nearly naked line. These have medium compression. And these are what you think of as more of the typical shape where the body suits, the panties, the shorts. And this would be the there was a lot of talk about Giddy being, you know, a competitor for skims and this is the line that I think will be doing it so I'm excited to try that I got something from each line so I can you know have a review oh also so all the stuff just came in plastic bags but the stuff from the nearly naked line came in these boxes and I think it's cute mine got like you know a little damaged but so I don't like that but you know hopefully everything inside is good and the last line is major label. These are like lounge clothes, bralette, pants sort of things. This is what I would consider to be a competitor to Savage X. Because I know Savage X is known for their lingerie and stuff, but I'm pretty much shopping there for bralettes and the stretchy pants. And these seem like the same sort of vibe. So I'm curious how these are. I personally want to increase clothes in my closet that are like... Okay, so where I moved is like a pretty walkable area. So I want stuff that I feel comfortable wearing at home. But if I wanted to hop up and walk over to Starbucks, it was also something that I feel good about in public. And I want more clothes like that. So it would be nice if these fit that. As far as the size chart, I got everything in a 3X. Um, I'm usually like a two to three. It, it depends. In Fabletics, I have some 1Xs I can fit, but I would say I'm more of a 2X. So their size chart isn't together. So I got a 3X and everything and hopefully that's good. I should have started this out. I'm not a shapewear girly because I get, 
when I'm uncomfortable, it's like I can't move. <laughs> I, I just feel I'm thinking about my clothes and the fabric the whole time if I don't like them. <laughs> I was actually thinking about, you know, the some of those cats when you put a harness on them and they just like fall over. That's me in clothes that I'm uncomfortable in. I just, I'm just, I, I can't. So I usually don't wear shapewear and I'll just avoid outfits that I feel like need shapewear, you know? I'll do a little smooth and panty, but that's about all I can handle. So I'm curious about this stuff. Now I did want to talk about some of the pricing again because I don't know if it's that some people would definitely say this is not affordable, so I think it just depends, but hopefully the quality matches once I see the items. I just pulled up the leggings from the major label line. So full price is $70. The VIP price, aka the membership price is $55, or you can use a member credit. This whole haul I'm about to show you with my Fabletics membership pricing. I had to pay for tariffs? I had to pay for tariffs? Didn't this come from the United States? I feel like I need to ask somebody about that. Um, it's $20 in tariffs. So basically the whole purchase was almost $400. I did get a lot of items, but you know, we'll see. Is that everything? The only other thing I wanted to say, now I'm not a marketer, I'm just a consistent consumer. I feel like there should have been a bit more marketing for this line. Like, I don't know how many people know about this. And I feel like, you know, I'm the target audience, okay? I am a woman who looks like Lizzo. Plus size, about her age, black. I I should have been bombarded. I should have been like, damn, will these ads stop? And I only saw a couple of them. If I didn't follow Lizzo myself, I don't know how much I would have even seen. So I, next go around, I feel like, you know, we need a bit more marketing so the girls know. And my other note is I feel like they have a lot of stuff. Like it was way more for a first drop than I was expecting. Like each of those three lines I mentioned, they have multiple options and multiple colors. So I tried to get a different color in each thing I got, you know, for some diversity, but it was a big drop. So yes, now we can get into the try on. Well, I, okay, I'm gonna do this different than I've done before. I was just watching a Glitters and Lasers video, Anna, and I'm gonna do it the way she does it and see what I think. So that's me holding up the item and talking about it while there's a video to the side of me trying it on. Okay, starting with the Mesh Me line. Oh, well, first of all, all the items have this little giddy tag. I think that's cute. I like a little personal touch. We have the Mesh Me Smoothing Midi Bralette in the color Bright Ass Blue Butterfly. Butterfly. So it has a band like this. The band is like a, a silicone grip, so I guess it won't move, but it's pretty thick. It is mesh, but I can't tell if it's actually see-through anywhere. Well, the, actually, the back is kind of see-through. I don't think you'll see it right here, but I can like see my phone through the bralette. And let's try the other way. What can I? It's, it's more opaque over here, but it's still a little bit. So I don't think, I think you're covered. I do remember Lizzo talking about she was trying to avoid uniboob in her item. So we'll see once I get it on, like how it is, because I see, on the inside, there is some stitching where clearly the boobs are supposed to be going, but I don't see anything in particular that would be doing the magic, but I guess I have to try it on and see. Oh, I forgot to say, with everything I am wearing underwear, but they're like, they're not holding anything together. Whatever is being held in the future is from the outfit. And these are the Mesh Me Smoothing High Waist Shorts. They have that same elastic in the, or silicone -y, Whatever this is, you know, the group is, is, they got that in there. And it's also, they all say Yiddy. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's, that's cute. Like that tells me they really took some time to design. Like, of course the actual outfits mean more, but you know, the little touches made me know they were thinking, thinking it's through. That's interesting. Okay, how can I? So the inside sort of looks like some drawers, but it's not. The fabric is attached to the pants. Well. It's loose on the bottom, but what I imagine is this is what's giving you the 
coverage on your actual parts, but then the rest of the legging is the see-through mesh. I am wondering how high waist they're gonna be. I have a, I don't know if I would say I have a short torso, but the way I'm shaped, pants are already high waist on me when they say they're just regular. So when they're high waist, sometimes they're high. The shorts look like a nice length. We'll have to see where they hit me at. I do like my shorts a little bit longer, not necessarily for coverage, but I do get worried about things riding up, you know, it starts getting uncomfortable and, you know, chub rub, chow. So that's these shorts. I really like this print in color. They had, I want to say were around five options for colors. And also just to try them out, I got the Mesh Me Smoothing High Waist Brief. Looks, definitely looks nice and looks big, looks big <laughs> for me. But I'm not a great judge of that, you know, we'll have to try it on. So once again, we have the extra coverage on the front half, but the back half is all mesh. I may not be turning around in these, um, yeah, I don't know. I may not be turning around, <laughs> but I will have drawers on underneath, so I probably can. You hear that, YouTube? I have drawers on underneath. I forgot I'm supposed to say something. So I really like that set. The compression is definitely there, like you feel it, but I feel like I look super good. Like I wouldn't wear just that out normally, but the way it kind of had me looking, like I felt really hot and I would totally wear that to like a party or, something like that it was definitely super high-waisted though I I I don't need that but I know other people do so it was a bit too high-waisted for me the it basically looked like a one piece I had to make it have a little opening for my stomach the drawers were cute too like it was giving swimsuit I totally think you could wear that to the pool if you don't actually want to get in the water it was really cute it was really really cute I got another outfit from the Mesh Me line, this time in all black. This is the smoothing midi top. So, looks like this. We have like, you can see, well, I can see, hope y'all can see, that's kind of where the boobs are supposed to go. It looks like a cute, simple top. We have the same elastic silicone rubberized band thing. And we have the matching pants. These are the smoothing high waist legging. And I really can't show you much of a legging here, but they're like that short before where they have the extra fabric where your bits would be, but then the legs are the regular mesh. And if you've seen the ads for Giddy, this is what Lizzo has on in the blue, the top and legging. So yes. This one is not hitting as much. I like the details on the top and like, this look, the cleavage look is really cute, but I'm having a lot more issues with the band on this one. It's rolling, doesn't feel like it's in the right spot. I don't know. I don't know if the shirt is too tight, but it shouldn't be. And the pants, I, I don't like the way they feel. Like the material on my legs is bothering me. It may not bother other people, but I do not love the way these feel. And I feel like, this one is making my stomach look like out there. I don't know if it's just because it's a solid print, but my belly is really doing a lot right now. Um, it's, it's like it's giving pregnant and I'm not. Okay, let's get into the nearly naked stuff. This stuff was more double sized. So this is a 3X slash 4X. So we have the shaping thong bodysuit. It looks very small. But I guess let's, you know, oh, that's a tight stretch too. Ooh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna use my arms to get into this one. Um, it has a little area to lift up the boobies. So I wanted, you know, something where I could just wear this with jeans if I wanted to. I have the see-through dress that I imagine wearing this with. I have, I have some ideas for this. And the bottom is a button closure, but it has two if you have need a little bit more room so i'm just do that because why not i can see people outside right here it's like their balcony and i'm eh. not because i was looking for like where am i supposed to go and i this i don't know if this is enough i i 
it's not looking like enough. <laughs> it took everything I had to get this on. I feel like it looks pretty good, but I, for my comfort, what I need, I probably would size up. It is very stretchy, but I feel like it's supposed to be pulled up higher because the this part is kind of digging. So that tells me it's not up as high as it needs to be or it's just not as big as it's supposed to be. So I think it's really cute. It's The material is very soft and nice. I personally just cannot handle this, but I may get the bigger size. I also got the Shaping High Waist Brief in brown. This is my kind of thing I usually wear. It's has a little thing inside so that it doesn't move. So once upon a time, I tried to buy this bra, a strapless bra from Lane Bryant, and I thought it would have been perfect, but it had the little silicone-y thing in there. And I cannot like just reach around and do my bra. You don't have to do the, put it on and turn it around. Y'all know, but I cannot turn it around with these things. And I was like about to cry because I was, you ever just feel trapped? Back, back to the moment. These look good. These seem a little bit more, okay, okay, I see. So the top where that's going to be on your stomach is not really stretching. Like it's stretching, but it's not stretching. But the bottom, it's very, yeah. And I also noticed this little, if you can see it, it's like a little triangle sewn into there. I wonder if that's like to give you a little bit more to the favorite piece of the haul so far these are exactly what i want in a shaping panty and they don't feel uncomfortable like i feel the compression but they're not uncomfortable they're super stretchy so far they're staying up i'm gonna have to you know test these out with some outfits but so far these is it yeah Finally, from the major label line, I got a bralette and leggings set, and these are in the color neon, P word, pink. And I like this already. Like, it feels so light in my hands. We're into it. It's like a little crossover style. We got the Yitty band. The backside is like, it reminds me of, you know, gym shorts back in the day. Super stretchy and breathable. Ooh, I'm into this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this looks really nice. And here are the high waist leggings. They, okay. If you come down to, we have a little design, well, stitching right there. In the back, we have that kind of triangle design before. I'm not sure how, I'm talking about this. I'm not sure how that'll look on, but I'm sure it'll, I feel like it should give a little attention to the butt, you know, a little something they're very lightweight stretchy i don't know if they're that light like they're light light medium i'm excited about these i'm wondering if they're gonna be too long though um i am five four and that's one of my issues with the savage x leggings like they work but they are definitely too long you know i just got a little scrunch at the ankle but you know this bralette I love it. It's so stretchy. It's so comfortable. It's exactly what I want. Here's my card. Give me more. These pants, they don't fit. As y'all can tell, I cannot pull them up any higher. They're too tight on my thighs and I would need a size up, which is so surprising because, you know, the bralette is so stretchy. I would think the pants would be as well. But the fact that there are 3X and I... I don't wear a 4X, so we'll talk about that at the end. And I will do some final thoughts once I've actually tried everything on. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm done trying everything on and here are my final thoughts. Everything seems like it's really good quality, but I still would like if they came up about $10 off per item. I feel like I'm not telling nobody what to charge, but that's just like what I think. I think this collection runs small because so the only things that I feel like fit perfectly were the two bralettes. And I usually size down in bralettes anyways because my chest isn't that big. So the fact that the 3X fit perfectly on my chest, but the 3X pants, I feel like the mesh pants were kind of a little too tight. Um, those last pants, the pink set obviously didn't fit. And the shorts, they fit, but I mean, I could definitely feel the compression. So I probably could wear a size up. It would just be too high at that point. I mean, high-waisted. Um, 
So in my opinion, this collection runs a little bit small. My favorite items were this bralette from the, I think it's called Major Label, I already forgot that collection. I will definitely be getting another one of these after, you know, I wanna wear this stuff for a little bit and see how it holds up. And the shaping panties, I really like those. I'm gonna get maybe the shorts from that collection. Um, and it's odd, cause why did they fit so well? But the bodysuit was hard to fit, you know? So the sizing is a little, mm. Is there anything else? If I didn't cover something else you want me to talk about, just let me know in the comments and I'll either just respond to you or if it's enough, I might make another video or something. And I don't know what to do now because my my vision was I was gonna go outside and take some pics in the pink outfit, but now that the pants don't fit, I'm like, I really didn't expect that to happen. So that's about it guys, I guess. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any thoughts about Yiddy, leave them down below. I'd love to read them and you know, respond. If you have any questions, like I said before, I'm here and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.